Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, I just wanted to say a very, very quick little, uh, I know that videos have started kind of slowing down or being uploaded on like different days and just generally there's a bit of a, a kerfuffle going on. Baby girl is due uh, any day pretty much. Uh, so my videos are gonna become a bit sporadic, probably for a little while after she's born as well. Uh, until I get back into my rhythm and kind of figure out how to work around it. So just a little side note so that you know I'm still here, still will be, just probably have to figure out a new little schedule <laughs> to kind of work around my baby. <laughs> so in today's tutorial we're going to be making this cute little strawberry. And can I pick up the details? Oh, it's picking up the details! I'm so excited. I'm so, so happy. Because in the video I think it doesn't really pick them up because it's got like... Onto little like seeds. So this is what we're going to be making. We're going to make a little kawaii strawberry, and it's nice, simple, easy, and enjoyable. <laughs> so let's get into the video. So for this tutorial, we'll need some red, green, and black clay, as well as a couple of ball tools, an exacto knife, and a needle tool. So taking our red clay, we're going to just kind of pinch and roll one edge of our ball and kind of keep working, like pinching, rolling, until we get a chubby teardrop shape. I mean, just keep thinking strawberry and it kind of works out if you think about it. just kind of flattening it a little bit just to create that kind of flattish effect that strawberries have just a little bit like so now once this is done you're just going to kind of push the top of your strawberry a bit to create a slight flat head and using a ball tool you're going to open a small kind of indent which you're then going to make larger basically <laughs> and this is where our stalk and leaves are going to go so once your hole is all set you're going to take your green clay and roll it out a bit, cutting a piece and making a small ball that will be pushed into the indent. So as I said, I'm just going to take the ball and place it into the indent, and I push it down using my ball tool as well as my fingers. The main point is to kind of flatten it into place. Like so. <laughs> So once you're done with this, you're going to take a green clay again and roll it out into a snake. And you're going to want to cut a small piece for the stalk part. And then you're going to cut a whole bunch, uh, which will become our leaves. So taking each of these pieces, you're going to kind of roll, play around with it a bit, flatten and then pinch one edge and create a small leaf shape. Oops, <laughs> there you go. Just like that. And we're going to do the same to all the rest. Now taking each of our leaves, we're going to place the thick end onto the centre of the strawberry and just basically kind of continue in a circular motion <laughs> all around the strawberry until you've covered the entire top. And here we go. So now I'm just taking my ball tool as well and smoothing out the centre, secure and make it look nice and cute as well. Once you're done with this, you can play around with your leaves a bit if you want. Um, you know, one can be up, one can be down, any way you like. So next we're just going to take the stalk and place it in the centre of our leaves and I'm also going to use a ball tool to kind of push it down as well. So here we have our strawberry basically. <laughs> our basic strawberry is done and it's now time to give it a little bit more personality. <laughs> so we're going to take a ball tool and just create the indent as we always do for the eyes and rolling out our clay we're going to make the eyes and mouth. 
And again, as per usual, we're going to pop them into place and push down with our ball tool to secure them. And using the ball tool as always, we're also going to attach the mouth. So our little kawaii strawberry is basically ready. Uh, I decided at this point though to also add a little bit of texture. Now you cannot do this if you want, it's optional. So using my needle tool, I'm just going to create small little kind of scratches along the surface, which will serve as a little seam. And I just think it makes it look really cute. Now the camera didn't really do me the favour of picking up on these little details very well, but I did create all these little indents all over my strawberry and all around. And here I'm just attempting to show you guys. You can kind of see it, can't you? And there we go! So our little strawberry is baked. I think this is one of the funnest little tutorials I've ever made. Uh, nice and simple and yeah! <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll always be here, don't worry. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!